It's Jocktober. Jocktober. A Sound celebration of all things shitty in radio. It's not very nice. Fantastic failures of pontificating proportions. That's so bad. Wow. An interactive exploration of what makes radio rancid. Jocktober. O-S-G. Host, Holes, President Fitz, Steve, and Stunt Boys. This isn't funny. It's time for Jock. I love when Sam hands over the show. It's like it's, it's just, uh, a ritual. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. And this music is so perfect for oh. us. It's terrible yes. music. This is the type of bed they'd use when they're doing one of their wacky a fun break morning show bits or games or games or fucking phony I, phone calls. Or whatevs. I'm I'm noticing a theme with October this year. What's that? Yeah. That we're doing a lot of like uh, hit music stations. So far, yeah, a lot of hit music stations. Yeah. Do you think people are listening right now in Houston and going, "Uh oh, where's the memo? Where's the checklist <laughs> of what we got to do to protect our Facebook page?" We'll soon find out. Bob Raver. General quarters. General quarters. Why is the Why is it a theme this year? A lot of hit music stations. That's just the way it's happened. You know, I listen. I think to a because lot of- there's no real radio anymore. I think we're down to hit music station, uh, hit hit music shows, and sports uh, talk shows. And yeah. political, obviously. That's about it. What's going on out there? Yeah, I mean, there's less and less variety. There's really not that many different kinds of... I've looked at the track listing. Uh, one of one of the bits that infuriates the fuck out of us is on here. Can't be the future. Oh, no, no, it's not. It's not. I, I, it's I, another I, staple. I know though. which one it is. You do? I have to. Wait. I think I know. You want to guess? Yeah, let me... Let 20 me. Fa- 25 gallon. No. Oh. Um, where's Where's the pen? Oh, I need here. a pen. See, so can... we were talking about this. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's a pen? Take the pen. All right. <laughs> <He's> not, <laughs> I feel like playing match game. That's exactly <laughs> what he's doing. <laughs> oh, I saw it. Oh, damn All right, it. let me see. Okay. Shut up. Is this it? Yes! <laughs> or, or a version of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, no? It's that. It's the exact... <laughs> you fuckers. So annoying. They, they are. stole your bit. I saw no, it upside no, down. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, I know. No, no. Yeah, it's that. It's bit. not that they're stealing our bits. No, they're just. It's uh, just the same shit. It's the hacky shit. One thieving hack bit after another on this fucking they suck. Thing. One show does a oh. bit that I can't even say, say works. It sort of works, and then everyone else fucking takes it. They have zero integrity as don't performers. Don't they care? Uh, don't, no. no. They don't, zero don't give a integrity. Fuck. They're not artists. They don't give a fuck. They're just shit, check-collecting, fucking marching line zilches, and they wonder why they go nowhere. You deserve the beatings you get. Yep. Today's Jocktober, 104.1 KRBE, Houston's number one hit music station. That's right. There it is. We're looking at the, I don't even know how to say this one broad's name or guy's name. Broad, I guess. Rula. Rula. See? The Rula and Ryan show. Rula and Ryan. Rula, Rula and Ryan in the morning. The whole. What does she measure stuff? I was going to say, does she lead a nation? <laughs> <laughs> what do we got on their website? With the pink well, ribbon. Give us give us a little mm. breakdown of what this show is all about. Yeah, there, Sam. Sam give I know us it's going to be the same uh, shit, but... Of course it is. No. Uh, Who are the players? That's a big morning show crew they got there. Yeah, there's Rula and Ryan. Right. And then, you know, they're... What does Rula look like? Cavalcated character. Rula's fat. Rula Lenski. Well, there's a big fat woman. Great big fat person. Let's, 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 uh, no size fortune. let's take a look at her. Uh, if you pulled the back of her fucking dress open, run your hand down her back, you'd be compelled to go, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. There's Rula. Yes, he met her when he was, she was helping him load a couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's, a, oh, she's a flat so. Yeah, I was going to say she is a flat She's soap. a sturdy girl. <laughs> sturdy. <laughs> Worse than uh, being a worse than being a fat girl, a fat girl with no tits. Flatso. A, a flatso, flatso is the worst oh, term yeah. for a woman in history. Terrible. You a flatso. <laughs> you can't even enjoy big tits <laughs> right. with the rest of that body. There's the guts there, the yeah, fat yeah. ass, and then little titties. A flatso. Because the big the big tits will keep you in the game. <laughs> That'll keep you in the game. <laughs> you know, you, you're already uh, acknowledging uh, you're with uh, a fat girl, but picture, you get the big. What the fuck? What is that? Big titties. Quick. What happened, what Sam that? Roberts? Those black Shit. things. There's all these terrible photos on their Facebook They're page. They're all racist. This is a racist show. That was very fast. This is right on their Facebook page. There's that page. one again. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> There's that one again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Rich, the weird thing is we don't give out the Facebook page, no. so we don't know how this happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There's a... <laughs> <laughs> naked man in clown makeup yes. with a t-shirt on that says meat and meat. Uh, oh, uh, Jesus. Any, uh, That's racist. Danny Falcone pictures yet? The guy's shitting. You don't like that? Oh, there's, a, there's a parrot perched on a man's oh, erection. Man's dick. Jesus. It's, uh, uh, oh God, damn! That's funny. Wow, <laughs> you people are oh, oh Elvis Titus. Jesus Christ! Oh. Dennis Falcon thinks you're. It's oh. Dennis Falcon. <laughs> yeah, Falcon. It's right. a yeah, picture right. of Dennis Falcone's head on a falcon's body. So Dennis they dropped Falcon. the uh, e in his last name. Yeah. All right. What the players, Sam? We'll go back there in a minute. Jesus yeah. Christ. So you got R Rula. Rula, who's uh, she's Greek. Of course, Ru Rula. Rula. Okay. Rula. Comes from a big she's family. Greek. Is that her sexual preference? Greek. Yeah. Lived in Texas for a long time. All right, boring uh, shit. Who are some of their comedy guests? Do they have guests? Like mm. their mm. Don't worry about see. that. Don't listen to Richard's questions. It's just gonna <laughs> not great stuff. No, nah, it's gonna delay our oh, what's October. That? Is that Rula? <laughs> Rula with some of that guess, Kelly Rowland. That's All Rula. Right. Is that Rula? Yeah, that's Rula right there. Whoa. Oh, the fat one? Oh, Rula. Who's <laughs> the chick she's with? Oh. Yeah, she was on, Rula think, certainly doesn't Rula. Rula's no. got a pretty face. She does. She should lose the weight. I'm not oh. going to attack somebody's weight on, or their content. Oh, shut her, up. Yeah. Their content. Shut up! <laughs> Trying to take the high road. Oh, I can spit I'm on you. Go after people, hon. It's you know she might be dealing with whatever she's dealing right, with. Whatever. Life. We God. won't even remember her by tomorrow. Who's yeah. who's Ryan? Ryan. As far as his radio thing goes, I've been at it a while. Says Ryan. Whoa. Radio thing. Just uh, the radio thing. Yeah. He started at a Lufkin station while attending Stephen F. State University, and he made the leap to KHMX. The leap. Before jumping over to leap. KRBE. Yeah. He spent a couple years in NYC as the assistant program director at Z100. What? Whoa. Z100. That's a big, big Ooh. fucking station. Assistant. He was assistant to the assistant manager. <laughs> and then he got back on the air at WXRK. K-Rock. K-Rock. He's a K-Rock alumni. Ryan right. was at K-Rock? Was he there when we were there? What was I his name so. there? Yeah. You sure can tell he Ryan. doesn't have a funny fucking bone. Look at him. You can tell yeah. he doesn't laugh. Yeah. Everything's just... Well, we're going to find out, Rich. It's Rula. I want to hear one of these bits. I'm sure they're yeah. funny. No, right. But like on the, just like on the website, right? Yeah. It's a, it has the Facebook thing next to it, the widget. Uh -huh. Sure. And it says uh, people who like the station... And already the photos of the, oh. in the preview. There's one of Dennis Falcone. Of course. Yeah. One of, and the name is Greg Schinkel. <laughs> Greg Schinkel. It's Craig Schinkel. Yeah. There's oh. one of a, a, a man holding a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and the name is Jack Tober. Go, let me see some of these pictures. Let me see. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> That's really unnecessary. I shouldn't be showing that. So you guys ready to hear some bits? Yeah, oh, put that on. Fucking <laughs> Our first track, guys. Rule and Ryan from Houston's number one hit music station, KRBE. They talk about guys and girls arguing over the... Um, guys and girls. The uh, wet spot? Um, arguing guys over... Guys and girls, they argue about this all the time. Oh, uh, all the time. So this is very, very topical for their radio Who's show. Who's going to take out the garbage? Oh, oh, oh. Um, who who dribbled Watch. black semen onto the oh. bed? Uh, who, oh. who watches the kid? No. The answer would be the remote. Oh, oh. all right. Oh, the garage. God. This is why we do Jocktober right here. <laughs> When to, what to watch on TV is a big one. And in this DVR nation of a world that we are, there's the DVR cheat argument now. You already saw that? Don't, don't cheat on me. I want to see Don't you think too. part of that, though, is because, and I'll admit it, us guys, we do not want to relinquish control of the remote. Whoa. Like, if, if it's in alone time, you got the kids in bed, sure. got some time to just chill together on the couch, the guy's always going to want to have the remote in his hand. Yeah, we're just used to it. It's just, mm -hmm. it's like, that's that? funny. It's like her lightsaber. It really is. Lightsaber. She goes, that's funny. Is it oh, funny though? Ah! Uh, and the voice. Oh, nah. Terry, Terry. 
That is Terry. There's a photo of uh, Terry Clifford and Eric Nagel <laughs> in, bed in bed together. I don't know how that was uh, taken. Did that really happen, Eric? Terry Not Cl that I remember. Terry Clifford. <laughs> she gets a beating Poor every year. Terry no. Clifford. Poor Terry Clifford. And then when I go to Rochester, I got to listen to Brother Weasel. He picks me. He goes, she's so nice. I'm like, look, I don't, don't know what to tell you. I can tell the people you have nothing to do with it. <laughs> ah, it's a boat movie. Mm. <laughs> All right. So what, what do you we got? So guys and gals fighting over the remote. Yeah, yeah. that happens. And then, oh, God. And then she God. thought it was she thought it was funny that he just mentioned it. Like that's funny. Yeah. She goes, that's funny. But it's not because no. guys and girls really do argue over the remote. It's yeah. like, hey, I want to watch what I want to watch. No, no yeah. you. Yeah. Normal yeah. couples don't give a fuck. Here, here's the remote. Whatever. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's not a thing. Exactly. It's here's not a remote. Actual thing. Uh, I'm gonna girls. go jerk off into your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys want to watch the big game, and the girls want to get over to the Lifetime channel. Oh, boy. But most people have more than one TV. What are you talking and more than about? One remote, and we you just go in another room if it, if there's a conflict. <laughs> well, we need to find some common ground so we could share. <laughs> 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 a picture of Anthony on red eye with, with uh, a horrible you, with your new teeth. Horrible oh, fucking that's creepy man. That is Photoshop. Creepy. That's how you gonna look. No, <laughs> oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Scorch. <laughs> we'll give you weird news for food. <laughs> weird news. Yeah. The Scorch uh, tape is tomorrow. Oh, we got too God. much going on today. Yeah. I want to see the boat movie. Foss, I want to see the love boat. I don't know. All right, so. All right. We go back to this. Rula gets stressed out over making oh. <laughs> uh, 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 cookies for a wake. Oh. Uh, no, uh, making uh, uh, dinner reservations. Uh, making love to her husband. Making oh. dinner. Oh. Oh, well, that's close. She's got to talk about getting stressed out. Well, maybe it's good. Dinner. Let's hear All it. All right, fair enough. I would. What, what to have for dinner is an argument common in <laughs> a lot you, of people's households. You, fat so <laughs> Right. Uh, right. <laughs> right. Uh, the argument is, can you please leave me some <laughs> tonight? <laughs> I want to nibble on a cow. Right. <laughs> All right. I would. What, what to have for dinner is an argument common in a lot of people's households across America. I don't know about you guys, but that is one of my stresses. No, it's the problem with Jacktober. It's not even about the audio anymore. I, it's know, just it's about <laughs> looking at the Facebook page the entire yeah, time. This thing is the Facebook evolve. page that we did not give out. This no. thing is going to evolve into just announcing a station. And that's it's, it. There's now a photo of uh, yeah. what appears to be Iraq <laughs> yeah. with no shirt on yes. and his arms up in the air, kind of like Godzilla. Uh -huh. And making kind of a retarded face, walking through Manhattan, <laughs> oh. obviously the sky size of a skyscraper, and responsible for the for nine eleven for nine eleven uh, yes. for, the, for, yeah. the, for, the, for the, the attack on the World Trade Center horrible <laughs> scene of the buildings behind him, um, yeah. So bad every time I, I see love it. it. Um, <laughs> what? Saint. There is a, a photo Denny? of Jesus Christ with Dennis Falcone's face. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Well, he is the leader of Jacktober. Yes, that's actual size. His head. <laughs> right. It does have a head full. It does have a tiny noggin. <laughs> and the, the quote says, And lo, Dennis Falcone, the angel of the Lord, came to them and spoke thusly, oh. Smite mine enemies. Smite mine enemies' pages with porn and gore, oh. for such images are pleasing to the Lord. <laughs> Lord Danny, and his and he saw that it was good, and bestowed upon his followers many Jacktober blessings. Oh. Kumia three sixteen. That's not of nice course. because Dennis Falcone is the Lord and Savior of yes, Jacktober. Yes. All right, Rule really gets stressed out over making dinner. Oh. I don't know about you guys, but that is one of my stresses of the day. Which one? What the heck what? am I going to... What are we going to do for dinner? What are we going to do for lunch? Because you got to make sure you feed your kids something nutritious, something good. Yeah, And protein. the time they have to eat, they have a schedule. And then like my husband comes home, and I was with the kids, and I took a nap. I wake and up like, right when he gets home, so I haven't made anything. And most guys don't think that far. Like, like yeah. when we left here yesterday around noon, whatever it was, I called my wife. Hey, I'm going home. What, oh, let's think about it now. What should we have for dinner? I'm like... Yeah, it's like six hours away. I'm not. But it's even a stress. Like, it. what are you gonna eat for dinner? Especially if, if you're on your own. Okay, that's fine. Y'all can figure you know? it out. Maybe you go out to eat for something simple like a salad. Mm -hmm. Who cares? Make a peanut salad. butter and jelly sandwich. When you've got kids coming to play, it's sure. like I don't know about you guys. That's stressful to me. Oh, I don't God. know what to feed my kids every day. Nothing you know worse than listening to a fat a fat neck. You know what? You can hear her. fatness. 
That's a stress. You know what a fucking stress is? Huh. Paying 20000 a year for fucking health insurance. That's a stress. There you Making go. Making fucking dinner. Don't don't sit here and trivialize, make, you know, such bullshit, okay? That's the fucking stress. Like, uh, ah, your lips to God's ears. You uh, get up, you go to a job job. site. That's stressful. You want to have, have peanut problem. butter and cookies? You do that. Regular a, job. I'll go to fucking work. colonoscopy a week ago and wait for the fucking results. That's oh, stress. Shit. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, like that. That's yeah. stress. That's stress. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a big gaping. Uh, that big asshole gaping is definitely ass. stressed. Yes. <laughs> There's some stress going on there. Oh, God. Oh, boy, that would be shit the shit there. Penis. That's shit on a penis. <laughs> Do you think they're used to seeing Come on, these I'll pictures? Cough at me. I don't know Hold why. This. Sorry. Oh, you'll show your penis with shit all over on the fucking internet. <laughs> oh my god. I have too much saliva. Wow, is that young Eric <laughs> Look Nagel? How skinny Eric was. Oh, what that's the Letterman that? guys. Those are Letterman guys that had that fucking uh, right, little the shop. place next door. That's oh, Eric? That's Eric. Eric. Zoom in again. Let me see. Wow. Oh, wow. Eric is so Now so I understand thin. why you took the, the fucking come home with you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he looks the Nagel like, seed. They didn't know there was a fucking weight time bomb in the DNA. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a young Jerry Moore there. Uh, yeah. yeah, maybe a little bit. How old were you there, Eric? Uh, nine. That's a, Does it even look I like I don't even you. know if that's the right year, but that's, I think, probably. That's about right. Wearing a tie? Oh, I'm working at PLJ, so that's about 96. Oh, 98. So eight, 19. Oh, wow. You're wow. working at PLJ at eight, 19 years old? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, he's a lot older than he's telling us. When did the yeah. career start slowing down? Oh, so 17. 2004. <laughs> 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 Ouch. Yeah. Oh, Lemon Party. Well, yeah. A what version of the Lemon Party. A lemon Party lemon action party. going on there. Those are Three guys. men just fucking eating each other's ass and blowing no, each other. No, you can't fuck up the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. I, did, I did this for you. Where are you going yeah. thing? Yeah. No. But they're, putting other, they're putting other people's heads on that. Oh, hey, uh, very good news, guys. It's yeah. October 104.1 KRBE, Houston's number one hit music. It's the Rula and Ryan show. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, can't, you can't say that. No, you no, can't you can't even say, say it. There's no uh, description for that photo. No. Very inappropriate. Very good news. Rule is not done talking. Oh, good. Good. Holy shit. shit. You're being stressed out. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, We're getting a lot of texts about the things on the list that people argue about. One person said, dinner feels like that for me too, Rula. About like the stress of what to eat for dinner. Another, that was another person workout. texted. <laughs> How about talking about the stress of your floors at home? <laughs> <laughs> she can relate. <laughs> stress in your lower back. Uh, oh. Dinner feels like that for me too, Rula. About like the stress of what to eat for dinner. Another another person texted, my husband gets so angry when I call him because I ask him on the daily, what do you want to eat for dinner? Because you got to pre-plan. If you don't pre-plan, the then you're yeah. look, I know we're not in the times of the 50s where the wifey stayed home all day. So when the husband got home, here's no, your cigar, honey, put your feet up, here's the newspaper, well, and I have yeah. dinner ready. Yeah. That doesn't happen because we are <laughs> double income families and both people work. However... I still feel guilty that I don't even at least one time a week make dinner for my husband and my kids because I am home sometimes. Oh, she's still talking you about are, making you dinner. Are just a go home and make sometimes. dinner. Yeah, just she's fucking big. figure it out. Yeah, Get some chicken breast at the supermarket. Right. Put them in the oven. Kids yeah. eat like three things. How stressed yeah. could it be? Exactly. Pasta, chicken, and what? Come. Maybe, ma maybe like uh, <laughs> grilled cheese. Yeah. She's got to make it sound like she's very, uh, you know, there's a lot of important things going on in her, her life. Her stress is telling the kids there won't be dinner again tonight because she ate it. <laughs> yes. Okay. yes. Sorry. Yeah, lick, mommy's going to vomit it into your mouth like a bird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, like, what you else go to the supermarket, you get a blue sure. box of macaroni and cheese. It's easy. Dinner. Not for ready. Uh, this woman Derek bitching. Doing Wait, there? is this a real... Track 4 is real? Or are you yeah. fucking around? Track 4 is real. And I, I might, wanted, have, might have to give him a little respect. I wanted oh. to include track 4 right. because, I mean, this is something that, that we would tackle 100%. Wow. And so it's like... How do they handle it? Exactly. Do they handle it horribly? Well, read the track list. All right, I will. Oh, it no. says... Uh, okay, Rule and Ryan handle a phone call from a woman who took a cock so big it ripped her vagina. This is oh, a, wow, I'm fucking my ex-girlfriend's calling radio uh, shows. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah about the guy she was fucking. <laughs> exactly how I wouldn't stop licking her pussy after. <laughs> <laughs> they set up this bit. Huh? They set this thing up by saying uh, they wanted people to call in with 
something that happened while making Whoopi that made them stop. Oh, God. Oh, exactly. They said Whoopi. I looked at my wife's whoopee. face. Oh. <laughs> I saw my wife. <laughs> I got split. <laughs> 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 All right. I got circular suction marks from the incubator. <laughs> Oh, on my legs. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, the coffin lid hit me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> she got to her mace. <laughs> I would like to just tell you we've played three discretionary warnings, but anybody that is waiting on the phone, you better clean it up. Ooh. Because we told them to. Warning. How about one more? Parents, be advised that there is sexual content in today's show. Uh, Here we go. It's really a couple of days. Lock in. All right. Yeah. If I make the cringy face, should I not go to that phone call if my face Just is already cringy? Just do it. Cringy? It makes yeah. me want to sing early down We have a delay. Okay, Lisa's in Conroe. Hey, Lisa. Hello. All right, keep it clean, sister. What happened to okay. you that was so bad that you had to give up action for a while? Okay, well, I want to tell you the story. I'll make it quick. So I've been married a long, long time, and so divorced. My girlfriends took me out of town to have a really good time, and my oh. uh, first time since for years and years and years since I've been married and it was a really young guy and I'm having a great time and thought everything was lovely and thought everything was perfect and I get up and I'm laying I don't know do you want me to say in a pool of no. blood no. sorry and I'm like no. No, I don't know what's going on because I'm fixed so to speak Okay. and I don't know what's happening so I guess the second time was so rough, it, like, injured you down there. Yes. Well, I didn't there know. I didn't know what was going on. Mm. So then when Probably I finally got back like to town three days later, Sexy I went to the doctor, time. and that's what had happened is that it was, he was so large, I was so rough that I, it tore. I can't I can't shit on the radio oh, guys for this. This ain't their fault. No, Honestly, this is not this is not bad at all. They they, want it, they they're working around the, the rules and they're yeah. getting edgy. They want it to go on the air. And this by the way, all the people that think, well, it's kind of fun when you can't say what you want. Ugh. Really? This is torture yeah. to not just like speak. To be able to say you took a cock so big it ripped your pussy. Absolutely. Or ass. Exactly. Or, or ass. But sure. they're, they're sure. absolutely doing a great job with it. So, yeah. So you far. Know. And they know the rules, it's boy. So how many times? How many times? I get a flashback. No, no, don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Hit the dumb button. Louis was the worst because he thought that if he just didn't use profanity, it was okay. Like, what do you mean? I said, drop diarrhea in her hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way. So you. So how long? Doctor said, had she seen it. If she'd have known about this immediately, she'd have sent me to the ER, and she said, I cannot believe that you did bleed out because... Wow. I mean, God. They did all right. Yes, that's where it's at. But yeah, I mean, they did not do they bad did all right. on that one. Yep. Yeah, that was sort of an illustration sexy. of... Uh, Very interesting. I haven't heard uh, you know, oh, God, that's regular torture. radio try to work yeah. around. Some regular radio yeah, is so yeah. unappealing watch in every it. way. Oh. Watch what you're saying. Look out. Ah. I have no problem with what they did there, considering, you know... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's no way are. to handle that better. Yeah, I mean, got to give them points for taking the phone call. Most shows would avoid that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But there's so many points to take away. These aren't oh, the yeah. worst I've heard, though, at all so far. No. no. Richard? That bit wasn't... Yeah, that was more of an illustration of how difficult it is to actually conduct... To do anything Like, good. when something right. interesting... Well, you know. I thought it was pretty... Just when, just when we're... Slightly impressed with what they're doing. Ah, uh, they go back into the shitter. It all goes away that's with this good. next track, unfortunately. Yeah, as we look good. at Houston's number one hit music station, <laughs> the Rule and Ryan show on KRBE. Uh, here's a bit that just drives us insane every year. <sighs> And every year, there's a whole bunch of radio shows that are doing this. <laughs> Can you go back to, go back to, to the that. family photo? Oh, I've seen that one before. I like the one with the, is that the one with the, the black eye? The woman yeah. holding the baby, and she has a black eye. Where is it? Where'd that one go? There it is. Cool. Put that um, yeah, their, uh, their Facebook wall has a little trouble loading, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. must well, their people, fans are pigs. Must be a lot yeah. of people on it. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Sharing, sharing oh. a lot of shit together. <laughs> There's a message from Scorch that says, I'm coming for you, Primetime. Revenge is a dish best served weird. <laughs> How come there's a dog having weird. sex with a girl? Why would they put oh, that on their Facebook? Oh, my That's, God. I don't know. They, 
Very offensive uh, site they have. <laughs> I don't know where that picture is. All right, right if you find it. Yeah. Anyway, we're about to... We're about to listen to a bit that drives us nuts. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's The Fugitive and uh, this bit that yeah. way too many radio stations are fucking doing. Yeah. Are you ready? And it's always fake. Yeah, yeah. No, this, it's not. You're about oh. to hear a fake bit, even though they're going to, yeah. you know, they push it as a real thing. You ready? Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to, you're going to hear the groans for the radio in a second. The war is on. It's Rula and Ryan's Roses, 104.1 KRB. Okay, y'all go to KRB. <laughs> the War of the Roses. <laughs> oh, wait. I just saw that. I didn't get that. <laughs> is that a black baby? Yeah. Yes. Oh, he punched her for cheating. <laughs> punched her in the eye. <laughs> That's their family photo. <laughs> she fucked somebody else again. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's great oh, god. there'd be an extra creative today oh yeah, yeah. Really oh god, <laughs> Just, oh, my god. This, is, this is what the radio stations have been warned about i guess huh <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a great one. <laughs> <laughs> we can't even. Oh, is that one good? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at the ears. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is bad. Look at the mouth. <laughs> Oh, it's that bad. You can't even talk about that. <laughs> yeah, the background. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All, right. All right, here we go. They're going to do War of the Fucking Roses. Yeah, War of the Roses. Where someone wins flowers or some kind of shit, and then you ask the person who you want them sent to. It's the same bit every time. And then the person names a name, but it's not his wife or husband who happens to be on the phone line, right? Yeah. Everyone right. knows the bit? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Point one, KRBE. Okay, y'all go to KRBE.com, send us an email and tell us uh, about your situation, why you want to be part of Rule and Range Roses. This is where we uh, let you listen in on the line while we call your significant other and try and get information out of that person. In this case, we have Gary who emailed us about his wife, so we're going to get... You know why this bit sucks so bad? It's like, if you are cheating... Yeah. Well, you wouldn't give up any of this info to a no. morning show? No, no. Of course not. So it's not even believable of a, yeah. before it even begins. Yes. I'm cheating, so I need help from the radio station. All yeah. right. Yeah, let me blurt this out. So, we're going to get Gary's story right now. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. How are you? Hey, we're fine. Gary, why do you want to be on Rulin' Ryan's Roses? Well, I have a hunch that my wife might be cheating on me. We've been married about seven years, and just in the last three, four months, things have really changed. She just all of a sudden... Did Listen to the bad acting. I know. It's terrible. It, he practiced his script, but he could hear it. You could hear it in his voice. He's reading something. Yeah. She just all of a sudden developed this interest in golf, mm -hmm. and it's almost all she talks Wait, about. Wait, it's um, Jerry. Wait, it's Jerry. Oh, it's Jean. Wait, <laughs> it's Jean. My, it's my wife. Wait, my wife. It's awful acting. Mm -hmm. And it's almost all she talks about. Um, and then she starts all of a sudden talking about this um, this one coworker, his name's Steven. Yes. How awesome he is and how he's helping her with her game. And, That's and how you that executive sort of And I don't understand any of it. I, so, I, I don't know, I'm just kind of suspicious. So, the, the kicker that happened recently is about two weeks ago, she played in a charity golf tournament uh, through, through work. And she leaves at 9 in the morning doesn't get home until like 11 30 at night <laughs> they're still not past the picture because <laughs> no. now we're, we're making we're making the faces ourselves <laughs> even though the picture's gone this is my favorite <laughs> Fuck is that funny? So you got the bed set up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cheating. He's suspicious. And she, oh. of course, 
doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut, so she's talking about this guy all of a sudden from work. It's just yeah. nonsense. Bad acting. All right, so they get the wife on the phone here. Here we go. It's Rulin' Ryan's Roses on 104.1 KRBE. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hi, I'm looking for Laura, please. This is she. Hi, Laura. This is Tracy from the charity golf tournament. How are you? Oh, uh, good. I don't know if we got to uh, actually run into each other, if you remember me, because I know there was a lot going on that day that we were uh, together, but every single person that entered, that was actually playing in that charity golf tournament, was entered in a raffle so that you could win your very own kind of golf getaway. It's going to be a and up at the... Um, yeah, they have a hotel there. They have a spa. They have great golfing. And lucky for you, Laura, you're the winner. We drew your name. You're the grand prize winner. Oh, my gosh. I won? Yeah. Oh. So it's really cool. Oh, you wow. get this great golf weekend. <laughs> it's uh, oh, oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I won. Oh, 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 wow. So far, Rule is doing it as well as you can. Uh, yeah. I mean, you put the beeps in to make it sound more. Yeah. Brutal. She's uh -huh. the rule. I don't hate Rula at all. Well, why oh. would you do it? Well, again. Yeah. Why would you even do it? It's shitty. But it's also, who knows what the program director is like. A lot of these guys okay. are under the gun. No, and they've been doing this I, for a long time. I'm gonna, gonna Rula, Jesus. I'm going to give her a compliment because I think I know what Jimmy's getting at. She, Her presence on the radio is good enough where she probably should be doing her own shit. Oh, boy. Yeah. Right? Is that what you're hearing, Jimmy? Yeah. Like, like the, the material's hacky. And, terrible. And, and the bits are, are, are played out. But if she would just take her presence and, and do something creative with it, she would probably do much better. Like that dumb discussion about cooking dinner was too long. But at least they were just talking. Talking instead of repeating the same break like right. another dog shit show, right. and they did take the big pussy call. Right. So this bit they, they shouldn't into be this doing. More the roses. Crap. Yeah, it's like come on guys, you shouldn't be doing. So it's really cool. Oh, you get wow. this great golf weekend. It's um, it's a beautiful room. It's a deluxe room. You have uh, golf is included in that, and you also have spa services included in that. Now you could uh, oh. do what a variety of choices, but uh, the main thing that we offer because a lot of people like it is couples massage. Most people go with their significant other, so that's what we have set up for you. In your name so the big setup the oh, wife that might be cheating ass. won this fucking package so now they gotta ask her who she wants to go with because they need the name for whatever stupid reason and the husband's listening in and of course she's not gonna pick the husband uh -huh. this is how it works out every fucking every time every single so time so be prepared for some horrendous acting as the husband realizes oh my god you why <laughs> right. why did you do that they never know what to say <laughs> right they wouldn't keep talking no so here's the she'd big, hang up here's the big reveal you just have to pick when you want to go but there is a limited time on when you can go I believe you have to use this within the next four weeks. Oh, uh, can, can I do um, three weekends from now? Yeah, as long as it's within four weeks, that sounds good. Um, I just need to give you some information so you know um, what you're doing when you call because there's a confirmation number and stuff. Um, first, I, I need the name of the of the of the person you're going to bring with you so that we can have you both listed for your services and what you want to get. Um, we have your full name. Who who are you going to take with you on this weekend? Well, uh, I'm oh. hoping my my friend can come, but I'm going to have to ask him first. Okay, um, but you don't know that person. Is it your husband? Uh, no, no, I'm not married. It's uh, just a friend. Oh, okay, so it's it's male or female? A male friend. Okay. She said, I'm not married? Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh-oh. Wait till she finds out her husband's been listening So in. far, not as bad as I've heard them done. No, this is so terrible. It's not, I not as bad it. as I've heard it's them. Fake. I, I, it is fake, I, but I'm saying it's bad I as I've heard them. I hate the concept. I, I hate it. I agree with the concept stinking. I'm only like, saying it's... Oh. I've heard them done worse. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I just wanted to give you a heads up that you are the grand prize winner. Hey, Laura, you're not married? Um, because actually we've got your husband on the line. Uh -oh. But see, here's the problem. Like he has to wait for his turn. If if your wife said that on a, a show and you're listening, yeah. in, you're ain't, you're not going to wait. wait. You're waiting to get the nod from the DJ to talk to. Right. Why does the husband like just the filthy talk? Whore? Yeah, well, yeah. they might have had him on mute, right? No, no. no? He's right. listening in the whole time. You would pipe up immediately. You wouldn't wait for your turn because it's all yeah. a, one big script. Everyone has their parts. But for the most part, I just wanted to give you a heads up that you are the grand prize winner. Hey, Laura, you're not married? 
Um, because actually, we've got your husband on the line. You're on the Roland Ryan Show. You're on 104.1 KRBE. You're on the radio right now, and that's your husband, Wait, Gary. Wait, gets all that um, shit out? In on this. Yeah. Yeah, it's so annoying. And then why would she stay in the line when you hang up at that Click. point? The call letters. The husband yeah. should just blurt out. It's, I'm right. here, you whore. You right. If you're going to do the bit, you might as well make it sound a little more fucking real. Yeah. Have the husband jump in right away. Yeah, what am I? Chopped liver? That's Something realistic. Yes. Yeah, it's more important to get all the call letter and radio station uh, info out before the husband uh, you know, confronts his wife. Yeah, right now, and that's your husband, Gary, uh, listening in on this conversation. Gary, say hi. You are married, right, Gary? Well, are you f***ing kidding me? You're not married? What the f*** is going on? Hey, no, so bad. I, I, you know, uh, they can they, never talk. They, they can never said. They always. They, 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 and his, you're not married. What the hell what is going the, on? Is going on, <laughs> Mr. Fabersham? You think that was well done? No. Oh my when, God. When you're caught in a situation like that, do you actually do the cartoony? Ed Norton. I am Rock Quarry. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, uh, you might remember me <laughs> from the Rose Bit <laughs> right. on the radio. <laughs> right. Listen to that again. I, I got to go back. Hamana, hamana. Oh Christ. Can Gary say hi? You are you? married, right, Gary? Well, are you f***ing kidding me? You're not married? What the f*** is going on? I don't... I, 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 you know... Yeah, exa yeah, right, exactly, exactly. This is all what this whole big freaking interest in golf has been about the last four f***ing months, right? You're f***ing around with Steven at work, aren't oh, you? Oh, boy. No, no, I was going to bring my... I was going to bring uh, Jennifer from work. She said oh. a guy. I know, but that's... Why are you answering this bit like it's real, you <laughs> fucking audience member? <laughs> wow. <you're> fucking... <laughs> oh. <laughs> she was going to bring Jennifer. Oh, Perry Mason over there. <laughs> <laughs> He's got it all figured out. Yes. Fuck. Fuck her. I would leave her. Oh. He's... Why'd you, no, you wouldn't. You'd want to watch and jerk off. <laughs> well, that first, then. <laughs> Good news, guys. The war rolls on oh, here. Nice. You are going to bring Jennifer. I heard you say him. So go f*** yourself. Whoa, oh, man. I hope so. <laughs> Whoa, oh, man. man. Look, Look, that's yeah. Look, Look That's crazy. Look out. Look out. Whoa, he means business. Oh. <laughs> Jennifer, I heard you say him. So go f*** yourself. Whoa, man. <laughs> I hope you have a good time playing golf with your buddy Steven and going on a weekend with him because uh, you can go f***ing marry him for all I care. Oh, wow. Gary, that's, it's not like that. Well, I think well, I, it's, it's not like what? Think, um, it is like that. Well, yeah, you have to clarify there, Laura, because it doesn't sound in your favor at all uh, that you are going with a male friend and you said you're not married. What do you mean it doesn't sound married. like it's in her favor? She's lying through her teeth. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't. I mean, if you're trying to convince him otherwise, it's not going to work. Well, why would you say you're not married? She's absolutely lying. Well, I didn't. If I was going to take a friend i didn't want it to be a big deal like you know why aren't you bringing your husband it was i just wanted to bring uh, a friend if i town anyway no, hang on a second if what i had else? a wife and she was taking a male friend to a spa weekend getaway <laughs> not acceptable not acceptable, not not acceptable. Not acceptable. Oh, that is such a phony bit yeah uh, she says, why are they still doing that the ruler chick sounds like she could be doing some all right stuff on the uh -oh. radio this is one of the rare she don't need this shit where you would take the chick out of the equation and see if you could get yeah, her because, doing something uh, for real yeah well i think we're pretty fair mm. yeah I, so. I mean there are holes i don't i don't see her as a whole she seems to be the uh you know uh, in a power position on that show you know what kind of lawsuits that would open up, uh, you up to oh, in this God. day and age fucking if making someone real? look like yeah if it was real you'd be like oh you made me look like a fool you fucking you know right well no mental one to languish yeah you can't you can't disrupt somebody's privacy like how that. many how many of these fucking recordings would end up in divorce court right. proceedings all right can we play the war of the roses bit sir because i, <laughs> right. I want to show what they did that was the catalyst what she for him filing to. for divorce yeah, yeah and by the way right they, yeah. they stay on the line the guy doesn't say cunt no no right they do these every week. And how do they beep and it every live? Week they find, you know. How are they beeping it live? Yeah, it's supposed to be live, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be yeah, live. Beeping. Most people don't know that you can't do that. Of course not. Uh, here's yeah, the, here's and, if, and if it was done later, first of all, she'd have to give permission. And why would she give permission to be on the phone 
admitting to cheating. So she would go, no, I don't give you permission to use that right. recording. And now it doesn't matter, beeped or not. Right. right. Yeah. Oh, boy. The the conclusion here. Oh, yeah, I don't care if he's not into golf or any or anyway. A, a weekend away is a weekend away. It's a golf package. He hates golfing. He wouldn't want to go. Like you know, when you're out playing golf instead of yelling four, everyone should be yelling four. So that's oh what God. you are. Good one. Okay, okay. you know yeah. I don't think we can to Laura and Yeah, he, uh, he wow. got her right there. Like Gary, She'll marry Doctor oh. Seuss. <laughs> Guy's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. That guy's good. He was proud that he could deliver that line, though. Yeah. Oh, thanks for giving me a good line. Thank Instead you. of like saying that you got a hole in one, you say you got a big hole in your ass with a cock in it. That's what uh, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone should be yelling whore. That's what you are. Oh, okay. okay. You know, I don't I think, think we need to done. talk to Laura Gary. any longer. Uh, Gary. Laura, you want to talk to Gary? Gary. You, you should hang up with us and y'all have a private conversation because obviously yeah. anything that you say. Oh, now they need a private conversation? Yes. Yeah. It's all out there. And when you're putting instead you of did. saying it to give me, you're oh. saying give me your cock. Oh, right? my God. That's preposterous. But they did all this. If this was real, they, they put them in this horrendous position and now like well you guys better have a private conversation right right well, this is too far for us <laughs> right Jesus. yeah now it's gone too far hang on rich is in love Jesus. oh rich found some. it's just ridiculous well look at that and look at that he's looking at the dicks in the photo <laughs> he's looking at a white dick and a black dick and That's the black not dick is a, a lot bigger dick. than the white oh, dick the, it's an arm it's not a dick probably photoshopped Jesus. Well, it had to be come That's from what somewhere. we tell ourselves yeah. to keep ourselves from throwing our white bodies off a ledge. <laughs> when you're saying it came from somewhere, that originally was a cock from someone's body. Yeah, but... It, 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 He's probably hit the thing in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the end of this fucking oh, thing. please. Now we're just annoyed. Jacktober always starts fun, and then we just want to get past just annoying. it. annoying. If you want to talk to Gary, you, could, you should hang up with us, and y'all have a private conversation, because obviously... Anything that you say is just, it doesn't look right. That yeah. you, all the things that you said. Uh, we're going to let you go, Laura. And um, Gary, yeah, Gary I, I was good. I didn't do any golf metaphors. You did it. What are, what are you going to do, Gary? I don't I don't understand I, what her thinking was I'm to say she so, was married. I'm so pissed off right now. Um, I, I think this just confirms that what I was feeling in my gut was right. She's absolutely messing around with this guy, so I, I don't know. There's steam coming out of my ears right Dude, now. Dude, you watch what you say, and he yeah. sees you charging in there. That guy's going to crap. I don't know, dude. It sounds like this guy's pretty bold, y'all. I mean, Gary, he knows your wife is married. Really? Yeah, but He's you a never... golfer. He's not a football player. <laughs> that guy stinks. He's a golfer, not a football player. Yeah. Rula. Rola. There you go. There you go, guys. Yeah. Jack and here's the deal. Yeah. Here's the deal. Uh, uh, yeah. When, when we go on the uh, on the road, we have to do a million of these stations. Yeah. And you have to go in. Like sometimes you'll get up so early, like, and you'll do one break or two breaks. They don't laugh. They just run through it, and oh, you just want to yell at them and go, "How the fuck are you on the air?" Well, they got you, plenty of those bits just like that. Yeah, to, uh, it just and they're just trying yeah. to get through material, so they're just look, watching the clock because everything is so scheduled for them every morning. They can't just sit back and relax and enjoy a comic. Uh, it's it's uh, the whole business is is it's just nonsense. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. It's horrible. Yeah. With, There's only a handful of shows still doing it right. If it wasn't for XM and Sirius. Oh, people would only be listening to podcasts in their car.